Hey guys, welcome back to um, my life while I wait for my laundry. So I'm gonna show you a few different things that you can do while you're waiting for your laundry. So first thing, you can write a journal. I actually did a lot of journaling while I was waiting. Look at all these Facebook pages. So many pages of writing. Oops. Okay. Anyways, this is all my writing. Since I started to actually sit down and wait for my laundry. Another interesting thing that you can do, and I always take with me a reusable bag. So I make sure I have all my shit and I actually can be productive. So I actually went uh, in Spain in 2015 and I went there as an au pair and I studied Spanish, but I kind of lost it a little bit and I, you know, I don't have that many Spanish friends so I, we don't communicate in Spanish and I feel like when um, you don't have a friend or somebody to talk to in the language that you're trying to learn, then it's kind of useless. So I decided to reopen my books for beginners. And yeah, just uh, work on my Spanish skills because the more light language you learn, the better you become at communicating with other people. So, and it's great for traveling also. You could also be a book snob, which I am not at all, but since I started to wait for my laundry, I have time to spare so I can become a book snob. This is actually like a book from the 1800s. It talks about a love story of a very rich woman and a poor man. So I love these kind of uh, stories. Always fun to read. Also, another book that I started to read is Je médite jour après jour, petit annuel pour vivre en pleine conscience. So yeah, I also read in French because obviously French is my first language. I feel like I, I communicate better when I do my YouTube videos in English. I feel like it flows better. But je vais définitivement faire un autre vidéo in French. I will definitely do um, more videos in French when I feel it. I feel like this one was meant to be in English, so I decided to do it in English, but I will for sure do a French video. Um, I don't know who <laughs> my audience is for the moment, but I feel like everybody can understand English. It's kind of international, so for now it will be in English and I will read my French book because I feel like I've lost a lot of my French in the last few years. I work in, in well, right now I'm mostly French environment, but all my life um, I worked uh, surrounded with like English people and I feel like I've lost a little bit of my French writing and even my words. I feel like sometimes I speak in French and I, I'm losing my words. So, reading in French is very important and that will definitely help with my French skills. Another thing that you could actually do while you're waiting for your laundry is people watching. I am actually obsessed with people watching and actually like stare at people and just waiting for their reactions. I hate being stared at, but I love watching and especially when you wear like sunglasses it's kind of like incognito uh, so yeah let me show you that view
Yeah, not the nicest view with that mattress. That's right there. Yeah, that's basically the clean city of Montreal in the middle of freaking winter. And my roommate that is. So, yeah, you know. So that is it for today, guys. Uh, I just thought I would bring you with me and do just like a super short video on this kind of a routine that I established in the past like few weeks. Uh, I think it's just kind of useful to actually take that time, you know, while you're waiting for your laundry to actually like do shit that you would not do on a regular basis, but that you would do since you have time to just spare. Um, this is definitely not a fashion video, but uh, I can actually show you my outfit. This is a scarf that I'm obsessed with. This is actually um, a men's scarf. And it's one of my friends that started his own uh, menswear company. It's called a Tory, and I'm obsessed with the green color and the comfort of this wool, um, this wool scarf. And it's a perfect length also to just put it like this. You know, instead of having a big scarf, you can actually roll it like that and do a little scarf and look like a French bitch. Um, and this is obviously my jacket from Bash. Today is so comfortable outside and I'm so happy that I can actually wear this jacket. And I actually added this tiny little puffer that I bought in a thrift shop for literally five bucks. I'm so glad I found this. And I'm wearing vegan, uh, vegan leather crop pants from Aritzia. These are the Molinas. I think everybody knows uh, that style, that model of pants. Like they've been so popular in the last year. So, and a little beret from a thrift shop called uh, Empire Exchange. Uh, these glasses are actually from uh, my friend's boyfriend. Uh, I think I, I didn't steal them, but I, I took them because I was so hungover one day and I didn't have sunglasses, so I just took them and never returned them. So it gives me this nice, like, Julia Robert, Nothing Hill kind of vibe, which I love. I love the French vibe. So sorry for those who are expecting a fashion video. I will still always try to include uh, fashion aspects in my videos because obviously that's my field but I'm also really interested in, in taking you into my plateau Montreal life kind of bohemian life that I'm living so um, yeah anyways if you have any ideas of videos that you're interested in seeing let me know but I just thought this would be interesting because this is kind of a routine that I established when I was waiting for my laundry, literally. So, yeah. So, if you like my video, please subscribe and give me your feedback, your comments. I'm always open for criticism. So, that's what's up. Bye, guys.